Hello and welcome back to another episode of Expediting America. I'm sorry I haven't been posting like I used to on a weekly schedule, but I just really got focused in being out here, making these runs and making this money. So I did about uh, six runs with this company I've been working with. My rate per mile is about $1.15, $1.20. And then I'm able to get side work. Like on my last uh, run, I got about $1,500 in side work through Uship, um, which helps because I do about five to 8,000 miles on a run. And, uh, you know, that 1500 bucks brought my average up to about $1.30 a mile. So that works out just fine. I don't haul heavy furniture. I do have to lift everything and, you know, take care of everything, wrap it up, make sure it's secure and it's not going to get damaged. Other than that, it's pretty much back to, back to business for me. I went home for a week and a half. Uh, Tropical Storm Debbie came through my hometown of Sarasota and laid down about 15 to 20 inches of rain in a 24-hour period. I've seen flooding like I've never seen in my hometown. Uh, in fact, here's some news footage. Sarasota County now, water has started to go down. This is off Bay of Vista. Crews there have rescued more than 500 people from their homes. Today, they went back out to try to get the folks who didn't want to leave. Here are some photos, uh, courtesy of my friend Dylan, who's a photographer back home. I was lucky to not have any damage to the van or anything like that, but some of my friends really didn't luck out so well. And even though the storm hit days ago, they keep reopening the levees because the dams just can't take the pressure. So after Debbie hit, I stayed home for a couple of days, made sure everything was good. Had to replace my serpentine pulley on my van. I was making a loud squeaking noise, which you'll see here. And I ended up taking it to my mechanic, the same guy, Pete, at PNT Automotive, and he's taking care of me in Ellington, Florida. But now it's back to business. I've been doing a few things on the side, which you'll see in this episode, uh, just to make some extra money when I am home and kind of start a side business that can possibly grow into something a lot greater. Because as I'm picking up all this furniture from all these dealers and sellers and stuff like that, I'm asking them questions about their business model and how they're making money and the best advice they can give me. And I do about, you know, probably 30 dealers per run that I run into. And I've gained a lot of knowledge and I'm seeing how much things are going for. So I've been actually buying things on the side from storage units to going on Marketplace on Facebook and, you know, buying things on there and trying to flip them, uh, which I'll be talking about more in future episodes. But here we go with this episode. We're going to be starting off in Sarasota, Florida, working our way down. Uh, doing some pickups in Florida and making our way out and heading out west towards Utah and then making our way back. So like, comment, subscribe. And I know I said Utah. I don't really go out west anymore. I said I don't want to, but I do have this inflatable kayak and me and Bubba Joe have been having some fun with it. So here is some footage from my last run where I was going through Arkansas on my way to Texas. And we stopped at the uh, Buffalo River and also the Caddo River and uh, did some kayaking, took the drone out, took Bubba out. We had a great time and I'm looking forward to doing some more. I know there's some places out in Colorado I've always wanted to go and kayak around in. So the company that I contract with set me up a route going out that way and we're gonna go ahead, handle business, have some fun come back with some money in our pocket and hopefully I'll document it all and share it with you guys. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you guys for tuning in and let's go. So let's get it going. We're starting our day in Fort Myers, Florida. We just left Sarasota and I'm stopping by here because it's the storage unit that I just bought and uh, I got to get some measurements for some of the furniture, but this is what it looked like when I first got it. I had to clean it out a little bit. But I think this was a home run. I bought this unit for $110. So this is one of the couches. It's made by a company called Artedi, A-R-T-E-D-I. There's this stain here on the big one. And this right here is chipped. But that's the only imperfections I can find on this couch. There's a lounger. And then there's a medium-sized couch, a little bit bigger than a love seat. That's the leaf for this table. And this table... It is nice. It has a, uh, a U-shaped base. And it comes with these chairs. Six of them. It comes with this china buffet. It all matches. Same wood, same uh, designer. There was a pair of rims in here that I sold already. Made my money back from the storage unit. I sold them for $250. But this is what I'm trying to sell right now. 
there are some things that need to be fixed. Um, but, I mean, for what I pay, not too bad. What you think, bub? You ready to hit the road? I've got 30 days to empty out this storage unit, so let's go ahead and make this run and get back home. Next stop, Miami, picking up these two nightstands, going to Park City, Utah. Hello? Yeah. Sylvia? Hi, are you Sylvia? Yes. Brandon? Hi. 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 How nice you doing? To nice you. to meet you. I'm so sorry for the... I told you for the delay. Oh, no, no, so you're fine, you're fine. Talk. I have stuff to take care of back home, and it's fine, no worries. And, and how is your... Everything is fine. A lot... Some of my friends, their houses are completely submerged oh. underwater. We got very lucky, though. I consider maybe you remove the... The marble, okay. there's no marble, you can eat it. And wrap it up. You can remove it like that. Okay. And I put the number here. Okay. And there. It's old, but it's in good condition. Yeah, no, beautiful. Sylvia was so sweet. She was trying to teach me how I could tell if something like marble, for instance, was broken prior to me picking it up or in my possession right, by look looking really at the close. oxidation. Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. Uh, but you, you must see the oxidation, for example. Uh, if if that is broken in this line, it's broken in this line. When you touch that, you're going to take a separate pieces. But in the color, the different color, you can see the time that was broken. Yeah, but you have to have a really good eye, yes. you know, and you know and know what to look for. Use uh, use um, the top uh, Galaxy S that has the best camera. Uh -huh. and take a picture on the area of the damage with the different of color the oxidation in the broken over area, time you can tell you can see if it's broken in your hand or in the dealer. that's, that's crazy that, but take a very very good picture yeah you want to remove yeah that? yeah yeah we'll do that and i'll come back in and wrap them up yep big blue truck Today's first pickup was in Hialeah, Florida, and uh, that's how we started off our, our route. Hialeah to here in Dania Beach, and then to West Palm Beach, and then we'll end today in, uh, I think, Dillon, Florida is our last stop, but then I'm going to head to Jacksonville for tomorrow morning, either Jacksonville or Havana, and I just missed the stop. So that's what I'm trying to figure out now is uh, how I'm going to make tomorrow happen because the Jacksonville stop they don't open until 10 a.m. and I think I can hit up Havana Florida which is near Tallahassee kinda and I'll hit that up in the morning at 8 o'clock takes about two and a half hours to get to Jacksonville be in Jacksonville by 10 10 30 and then be in Savannah Georgia by about uh, 1 o'clock or so maybe 2 and then head our way up South Carolina to North Carolina, probably end there, and then start Saturday in Atlanta, Georgia. But we will see how that goes. Now this stop right here in Dania Beach was actually added last minute while I was on my way over on Alligator Alley. And this pickup is actually going to Nashville, Tennessee, which I'm already going there after Atlanta, so it works out just fine. So let's pick these items up and keep it moving. Hey, how you doing? Pick up. Yeah, I called earlier about uh, five locks, seven items. What's the name? Thomas. Okay. All right, so uh, you have a truck? Yeah, yeah, I got a Sprinter van for outside. All right, so it's some big item. Do you have any equipment with you? Uh, I got a dolly and stuff, yeah. All right, you want to bring that in for the pedestal? Yeah, you mind me taking a look at everything to see what we're working with? Here's a look at what I'm picking up here. This mirror, this candelabra. This crystal bucket, these little figurines, and these two, I guess, pedestals here. Got these wrapped up. We got those two wrapped up, strapped up against the wall. Next is this mirror. Shows you how cold it is inside and how hot it is outside. But there's minor imperfections, things I documented. So let's go ahead and wrap this up.
For these last few pieces, I'm gonna use a cardboard box. Well, it's definitely hot out here. I'm sweating bullets. That's what the box looks like. I don't like covering the candelabra part because these can get pulled apart when you take it apart from being wrapped up. I got the two big pedestals here, the painting here, and the rhinoceros and giraffe there. So we're good to go. I'm ready to get in the AC and get moving to uh, West Palm Beach next. We're definitely gonna fill up here 20 gallons, it looks like, about 21 or so. And we're getting about 27 cents off a gallon using the Upside app. We're here at Chevron and Deerfield Beach. So I can't, can't really beat that. We're paying close to $3.07, I think. That's what it said on the app. So that's pretty good. Uh, definitely gonna take advantage of that, and you should too. Click that link below in the uh, description. Um, add the Upside app using my code. You not only help yourself save money and get cash back, uh, but you also help me get cash back as well every time you use the pump. I get like a penny per gallon. But I have about 120 of you signed up or so um, under me. So it adds up and it definitely helps put money in my pocket. And I appreciate it. How you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, good, man. I just picked up two similar ones. It's so funny. Really? Yeah. They got some so we're cutting it close right now. I just picked up uh, the storage unit off Lantana in Lake Worth, Florida, which is West Palm or Palm Beach area. Um, but the next stop is 22 minutes away and they close at five. 22 minutes away puts me there 459. So if they close, that means I gotta stay down here overnight. I'm not trying to do that trying to get up to Dillon because I don't want to be behind two stops. Uh, so we're definitely gonna make this happen and uh, keep it moving. But we're on a tight, tight schedule. Tight, 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 tight. Right on time. Next up on the list, we're picking up this headboard. It's really light, really easy. It's going to St. Louis, Missouri. Let's go ahead and get it. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you staying later for me, man. You're the man. You too, man. Have a great day. Thanks. All right, we got that situated. On to pick up these two chairs in Dillon, Florida, near Orlando. Then we'll head to Havana, Florida for tomorrow morning. I think it's time to walk Bubba Joe, though, right now. We'll take our time getting to Dillon. Now, one of the challenges I face out here is coordinating with pickup people and drop-off people, making sure they're available on uh, the scheduled time that I have on my route. So uh, here's a little sneak peek of a conversation I have with the person uh, I'm delivering this headboard to. Yeah, I got held up. I, I was in Sar I live in Sarasota and we got hit with that storm. Oh, yeah. So we got like yeah. 20 inches of rain overnight. So kind of held me back on my schedule. But I just picked it up today. And uh, you are in St. Louis. So yeah. it's gonna be uh, Monday or Tuesday of next week uh, without okay. me looking at my schedule right now. What, okay. I'll, what I'll do is tomorrow I have a better idea and I'll give you a call uh, and touch base with you. Now I just wanted to introduce myself so you have my number if you have any questions. Uh, okay. I'm not going to be home early next week, but okay. um, somebody will be and I will have you coordinate with them, okay? Sounds good. I'll, I'll give you a call tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Brandon. Thank you. Okay, bye. bye. That's definitely one of the benefits is being able to create my own schedule. If I'm running behind, I just tell people, you know, you have to wait till tomorrow. And most people are cool about it. They just want their stuff and uh, we make it happen. We made it to our last stop at 8.45 p.m. We're picking up these two chairs from Deland, Florida and heading to Edmond, Oklahoma with them. That's the boss. That is the boss, man. You see any bears back here ever? Oh, of course. Really? Yeah. Wow, we've we never seen a bear in Florida. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Neither did I until I moved here. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I cannot thank you guys enough for tuning in and spending time with Bubba Joe and I while we're out here on the road. Thank you so much. Hope y'all have a blessed day. And most importantly, peace.